Okay, so I'm going to teach you guys how to use the abacus. Wonderful tool. So to start off with, this is an abacus. And the bottom beads are worth units of one. So from the right we have one, two, three, four. Top beads are worth five. So that's six, seven, eight, nine. Next row is units of ten. So that's ten. And um, from there we have 20, 30, 40. That's 50. Remember, top units are units of five of the bottom units. So second row, the top one is worth 50. Now that's 100, because the third row is the hundreds. So those are the top rows are the fives bottom rows are the ones and from right to left you increase in units of ten hundred thousand ten thousand etc etc so that's basically how things work that's remember 50 okay so next just show you this is going to be a really big number all of ones so this number has 13 ones in it but yeah whatever we're just gonna get rid of that so we're gonna do an addition problem now and to start off with addition is really easy on the abacus to start off, we'll put the top digit 3572 on our abacus. So I'm just going to do that real quick. Alright. So now that we have that, we're going to proceed. Just cleaning things up a little bit. Alright. So we're going to proceed to add. From the right, we had the 9. We add that in the 1's unit. So that gives us 11. So we add 11 to that. And we, ta we take away the uh, 2 and then we add 11. So. And we do it to the next step, adding the two to it to the next thing. And then after that, we add the four. So that goes up to that. And we carry the one. And then we add two from our 2000. So we add that. And we're going to have 5001. Just real quick before we work on this multiplication problem, remember um, basically all you have to do is just add the, take the first number and then add the second number to it just by adding it with the abacus, just putting the number on it, and you just follow the rules of the abacus, where if you get nine units and you add one, you just add another to the other side. So it's pretty pretty straightforward. So next we're going to do a multiplication problem and real quick before we do it's the same multiplication algorithm used by hand it's just you use the abacus to keep track and what's really cool is when you're using the abacus remember all of that adding that you uh, do at the very end of the multiplication algorithm because you multiply each row or column thing and uh, at the very end you add them all together well, the abacus is going to do that for us as we progress, so we don't have to worry about that. So we only have to concentrate on the multiplication and just making sure that we're in the same place, in the right place. So for this problem, we want to keep the uh, the problem in front of us on paper, just so that we don't forget. So the first step is we did 3 times 2, which was 6, and then we did 3 times 1, which was 3, and 3 times 9, which is 27. All right, that was pretty quick, pretty easy. 
Alright, so our next step is to do the 60 in the 463. So we get 6 times 2, which is 12. So we add the 2 first to the second column, not the first, because remember in the multiplication algorithm, we move it over to the left because it's really 60 times 2. Alright, so now that we've got the 12 from that added, we add the 6, and that goes over to the next. And then now we do 6 times 9, which is 54. So first we add the 4 to both to that fourth column. 1, 2, 3, 4. Now the 50, so that's just a pretty easy thing to do. Alright, so now we only have one more step left, and that's to do the 400 part of the 463. So we start at the third column, we do 4 times 2, which is 8. So we add that to our third column. Next we do 4 times 1. So we add 1, 2, 3, 4. And carry that 1 over there that we added. And then 4 times 9, which is 36. So we add the 1 to that, and then the 3 to the next place. So that gives us our answer. 422,256. Just, just for such now. Anyway, thanks for watching my video. And I hope you enjoyed the music, which was Inescu's Romanian Rhapsody.